Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the all new Mercedes GLE 350. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Mercedes Benz of Salt Lake City, Utah, for giving me some time with this GLE. This particular GLE is still available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below. And then, on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder that goes through a 9-speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 20 around town and then 27 on the highway with power outputs being 255 horsepower and then 295 pound-feet of torque. Now before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see the distinctive lines there, I think those look really sharp. And then coming down below, you guys can see the daytime running lights with the LED headlamps. And then notice with the front grille, how you've got the Mercedes logo in the center, and they have a bunch of little Mercedes logos in the grille. I think that's a pretty cool effect. And then everything's darker here at the bottom with the trim. And putting everything together, I think the new GLE refresh front end looks absolutely fantastic. Now coming around the side here, our tiring wheel setup is 275, 45, 21 in the front, and then 315, 40, 21 in the rear, so a slightly staggered setup. And then this particular one has the AMG wheels, which I think look absolutely fantastic. And then you guys can see we've got the body painted fender flares, and notice how the rest of the bodywork here is also body painted. We've got some silver here on the door handles, and then also with the window trim as well. And then here's your full side view with the GLE. Let me know what you guys think about the look. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, the opening here for the hatch, and well, pop it open. Now popping into the rear, you guys can see we have a cargo cover here in the back, and when it comes to storage space, it's actually really solid. And underneath here, we've got a spare tire, which is another nice thing to have. But yeah, this is one of the big benefits of the GLE, just how practical it is. And then when you're all done, just press this right here, and it'll lower the hatch right back down. Really cool looking taillights here. Of course, we got all of our badges on the back end. And then we do have parking sensors here at the bottom. And then look at the exhaust tips as well as the receiver hitch there in the center. Putting it all together, let me know what you guys think about the refreshed design here with the GLE. Now popping inside, you guys can see here, we've got padding at the top and then look at the stitching and then the trim down below. I mean, that all looks great. We've got heated seats here in the back, Burmester sound system, and then yeah, more trim. And look at the stitching that goes throughout that. Looks really high quality. And then taking a look at the seats, you can see the stitching goes down the center. And then I like this on the side. I think that people call this like the uh, alligator boots texture or whatever, but it, I, either way, it looks really cool. Now legroom in the back of the GLE is absolutely fantastic. We've got a little storage net here, some vents in the center, and then some USB action just down below. And of course, we have our cup holder armor. Yeah, look at that. It does kind of remind me of a reptile. That is, that is interesting. But anyways, headroom's also good. Now taking a look at the front door panel, you can see that the trim is pretty much the same as what you have in the rear, and then you've got all the stitching throughout all of our window controls here. The mirrors do power fold in. We've got memory seats. We also have our power adjustments on the door, heated and ventilated seats. You can even adjust the passenger seat from the driver. And by the way, the passenger does have memory seats and all of that fun stuff, heated ventilated seats, everything. And then also, last but not least, blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. And then here's the front seat. You can see perforated all down the center portion. Then yeah, look at the texture here on the side. We also have our lumbar adjustment right there. Uh, pretty normal pedals with this one, uh, but you've got the light controls here, parking brake, and then yeah, more of the nice wood trim here. Sorry about the lighting with this shot, but anyways, here's the steering wheel. Really nice trim all around. We've got really nice paddle shifters here on the back of the steering wheel as well. Usually expect to get like the plastic paddle shifters with the more entry level Mercedes, but this one's got really nice ones. Controls here for the center infotainment system, volume controls, voice command controls. We've got adapter cruise control and then controls there for the center stack. Turn signal stock, and then we've got our column shifter. So we've got this full digital gauge cluster here and it kind of basically functions as like a secondary infotainment system. You can also do like the map view if you want. I mean, it's super cool, all the different views you can do, but I, I did like that sport view. I think that looks pretty cool with the car. Now we do have a 360 camera system. So you got the bird's eye view. We also have the backup view as well. And I mean, if I scroll through the different viewpoints here, I mean, you can see out of every single angle, which is nice because this is, you know, kind of a larger sized SUV. 
Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, first off, response time with the screen is fantastic. Oh, we've got an off-road page for this. I mean, it, it's cool that it has it, but I don't think anyone's going to take a GLE off-road. I mean, let me know in the comment section below if I'm wrong. And then if you pop over to the comfort tab, you got like the seat kinetics and all of that. Uh, so it's just cool. And by the way, you can also control this with a little keypad or on the steering wheel, like I said earlier. Really cool looking vents here in the center on the wood trim. And then look at the dash. That's also very nice. We've got our dual zone climate controls and then you can just click this back. Covers the wireless phone charging pad, some cup holder action, and then some USBs on top of that. We've got our wrist rest here. Try to say that 10 times in a row. This is another control for the infotainment system, the tertiary control. And you can see we've got ambient lighting here on the grab handles right next to this whole area. Um, but anyways, we got our drive mode select here. We've got this for like the shortcut button to go into stuff with the vehicle. You've got your control of that. And by the way, with drive modes, We've got a bunch of them. Individual, sport, comfort, eco, and then of course we've got the off-road mode as well. So uh, there you go. And then here is the center console. We've got good storage space inside. Uh, look at the trim here on the top, and then more ambient lighting there. And with the glove box, it's also massive. Uh, and then finishing things up top, we do have a full panoramic sunroof here. Uh, control for the sunroof is just right there. So here's our window sticker for this GLE 350. You can see the standard equipment here. Base MSRP is 62650 This does have some options added to it. So I'm seeing the most expensive packages. AMG line, yeah. But I mean, you got to get a Mercedes with the AMG line. Every single one seems to have them. Anyway, 75270 is the total MSRP. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility of the hood, both of the mirrors, which do a blind spot monitoring, with the rest of the rear. And this is going to be a slightly shorter uh, drive than normal. Um, we just have, I just have a few time constraints today because of the holiday. And so, yeah, we're just gonna keep things quick. But I do plan on coming back and reviewing a 450. Um, I don't know if they have one in inventory right now. They probably do, but these things have been selling amazingly fast. Like I was here uh, last week on, I believe Friday. Uh, this is Monday today, if you guys are wondering. And they had like six of these on the lot and they have all already sold. So it just goes to show you the popularity of this so far. So let's talk about why this is so popular. First off, ride quality is amazing. And this is just in the base car. Um, if you guys follow the channel, you know that I had a review series on the 63 version of this. Mercedes gave me a demo for a week. It was an absolute blast, <laughs> but even this entry level car, it it still rides amazingly well. It's super quiet, it's really comfortable. Like there's definitely a lot to love about this. And on top of that, the four cylinders actually, it's its pretty good. I do want to get an acceleration load to like really feel uh, this engine, but you know, I can tell you right off the bat, its it's got some, it seems like it's got some pretty good punch to it. Okay, well, we're finally getting up and moving again. Yeah, super smooth the overall acceleration. There's always something going on here. Just gotta take it slow. <laughs> There's always something going on here. Yeah, really, really smooth. Okay, we're gonna pop it into the sport mode here. And, yeah, let's see how this, not bad, honestly, not bad. Um, now I do want to reserve like final judgment until I drive the inline six with a new one. I can tell you obviously the G63, that thing is a monstrosity when it comes to acceleration, but it's it's also, it's, it's a G63, <laughs> right? Um, with this though, I mean, it's, I would say it's, it's reasonable for what it is when it comes to acceleration. So to fully wrap things up, um, for the, you know, more quote unquote baseline GLE, I think they've done a really good job. I think it looks fantastic. I think it drives really well. Um, the acceleration, although not insanely quick, I think that it's solid. Um, but again, I do want to review the inline six version because I want to see if it's one of those situations where you should just go for the inline six um, with this new one. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about the new GLE when it comes to the styling and this, you know, the whole infotainment system set up and everything. Do you like this or do you like the previous version more in the camera system? <laughs> Man, coming in clutch when we're backing through a lot with, you know, several vehicles that are well over $100,000.